Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create and sell online courses on Squarespace. So you know, Squarespace is actually a platform that allows you to create a lot of website. You can create an online store, you can create a blog, etc. And now you can actually sell courses through Squarespace. So right here I'm in Squarespace template and you can actually create a course in whatever templates that you choose. You don't really have to choose a specific categories or specific topics or type for your templates. Any templates can do. So right now I'm just going to try and find a templates to use. And let's say I want to go with this one. And each template actually comes with samples colors. So I'm going to choose on the color that I want. I'm going to go with this one. Obviously, after choosing the templates, you're going to want to name the site. Let's say I'm going to name mine as Beats of the Moon because the website is going to be, let's say, about jewelry. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And now we got into the editor sections of our website. So this is how the website editors looks like. You can see there is the options for pages, for styles, and then you can also settings for the selling, marketing, contact, analytics, scheduling, invoicing, asset library settings, etc. So here I'm going to go to my pages options. And from this template, I actually got several pages. Some of them are the about pages, surfaces, gallery, and then book a consultations page. And in order to create a courses, I actually will have to create a new page. And for now, I'm just going to add it under the not link option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on plus signs right here. And you can see when you click on the plus sign, you'll be able to see the selection of pages that you can create. You can start with a blank page. You can add a blank layout. You can add a schedule page, blog, store, portfolio, events, video. And when you scroll down, you'll be able to find this course option. So go ahead and click on that course. And then you're going to want to choose on the course template. So currently they only have two types of templates. And I think I'm going to, let's just go with this one's right here. And now I got the course page and through this course overview, you'll be able to take a look at how the course page will looks like. And if you click on the course content, you'll be able to edit the content of your course. So here, the content of the course made with two things. The first one is chapter. See if you click on the plus signs besides the course content text, you'll be able to see that you can create either a chapters or a lesson. So what is the difference between a chapter and a lesson? Basically chapter is like the main theme or it's like the bigger folder. So let's say when you're trying to share a knowledge, you will want to divide that knowledge in let's say four steps or four chapters. For example, like the first one is going to be the opening, the second one is going to be the main knowledge, and then the third one is probably the closing, some things like that. We will call that a chapters. And then you can create lessons inside of the chapter. For example, I'm going to create a course, let's say about creating a beads accessories. So here in my chapter one, I'm going to click on edit. And I'm going to change the title as, let's say, Beads Accessory Introduction. And my first chapter is going to be about introduction. And then I'm also going to rename my lesson. And when you're trying to edit the lessons, there are three things that you can do. You can first 
added the general which is the title so for lesson one I am going to name it for example get to know your beats and then excerpt is actually just a short explanation or short details about what this lesson is going to be about you can definitely leave it blanks if you want but if you want to add a little bit of explanation feel free to do so i'm just going to go ahead and delete it so in order to edit your thumbnails or to replace it and change it into your own pictures you can either click on edit or replace basically edit means you'll be able to settings on the brightness and you can do some basic editing for your pictures, but if you would like to replace it completely, you can just click on replace and then upload your own pictures. And then obviously you're going to want to upload your video lessons by uploading your video through here. But when you're trying to upload your video, you're going to want to pay attention to the video storage sections right here. So it says here that I have 30 minutes left and if I click on the question mark symbols right here, it says that my plan includes 30 minutes of free uploaded video storage. So if I want to upload a video that is more than that duration, I probably will have to subscribe to the paid plan. And then once you uploaded your video, you can also custom the featured image and then on the status menu you'll be able to choose whether you want to publish the video immediately or if you would like to save it for draft or if you would like to add a scheduled publish so in the scheduled publish you will be able to settings on the date, the day, as well as the time of when you want this lessons to be published. And it's going to be very helpful if, let's say, you have a lesson or a course that is quite long and you don't really want to have to stand by every single day just to upload your lessons. You can always use these features to make uploading your course and selling it easier. And once you're done with all of the editing, you can go ahead and click on save. All right, so that is how you can edit your lesson. And if you need to add more than just two lessons, for example, on a chapter, all you have to do is click on this plus sign and then add the details about your lesson. Let's say I'm going to name it lesson three. And there you go, you got your lessons created. And if you would like to add more chapter all you have to do is click on the plus sign besides the course content tags and then add your chapter through there all right so that is how you can settings your course and then when you add a course to be sales you can actually let your buyers to set progress on which lessons they actually already taken so for example here I have several chapters and then on the lessons I have the options to put a tick on it once I'm done with that specific lesson so as you can see I have around five video for this course and when I take two of them the progress bar shows that I've already completed 40% of my lessons and then I also have the button to continue the course and when I click on it, it's going to show on the next course that I will have to take. And you can also insert a PDF for your course if you want and in order to edit the landing page of your course, all I have to do is just go to the course you want to edit, then click on edit and here you'll be able to change the text that appeared on the landing page and if you would like to edit the sections you can go ahead and click on edit sections or you can even edit the layout all together don't forget to always click save after you create a changes and then once you're done 
adding all of the details of your courses and uploading the video, the PDF, whatever it is that you need. You can always check again and take a look on how your course will looks like on a different gadget. It's a thing that I always do. I kind of want to see how it will looks like if people take my course not just from the uh, PC screen. I also want to see if the mobile view is comfortable enough for them. And then once you got your course page created, obviously you can always put it on whichever page you want this to be. For example, if you would like to add your course below the book consultation menu, you can do that. So that when people take a look at the main navigation, they can see the course options directly. This one is totally up to you. So go ahead and put your course on wherever you like. All right, now I'm going to take a look at the preview of my website. So if I click at the name of the website, this is the first thing I'm going to see. I didn't really change anything because we're just going to focus on how to create the course for now. Then if I click on the navigation menu, I'll be able to find my course. And here I got all of the chapter as well as all of the lessons of my course, as well as the progress bar that will show on how far have I go with learning the specific course. And that's basically it. That is how you can create a course in Squarespace. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.